to not apply for Fulbright and I'll tell you why. So in order to be applicable for next Fulbright's round, you have to um, take a GRE exam and a TOEFL exam. And cost is the only reason that I'm telling you not to apply. So now you, you can still be using your TOEFL exam for other applicants uh, applications throughout the world, but you cannot really use your GRE exam. Nobody cares how much a score do you have on your GRE. Um, and in total, that is about $450, something that equates um, to 120,000 PKR. So that's a lot of cost that you're going to put in an application. And on top of the cost, GRE is such a difficult exam, not only to prepare for, but while sitting in exam for five hours in front of a computer, solving the maths, well, maths was fine, but solving the English that you never studied in your school or college, that's a disaster. For me, it was a trauma just to sit the exam. I mean, I did well um, and well, uh, the story is that I, I applied for Fulbright and I, I do not really regret my decision of applying for Fulbright because that application, that trauma and going to Islamabad all the way from Hyderabad for an interview, that taught me a lot of things, but um, that was we back in 2015 and I would not recommend doing the same mistakes I did uh, in 2024. There's so many other app opportunities throughout the world. Like if you, if you see at the scholarship network group, there are thousands and thousands of applications uh, for Italy. They're like Ireland is full of opportunities. You can go anywhere around the world without this GRE stuff. Um, if it's free, you get some voucher, please go for it. But GRE is not going to be useful for you in any other applications. Um, and like TOEFL also, because most of the universities nowadays, they accept Duolingo pretty much, which is like one fifth the cost of if you take TOEFL. So there's no point here wasting your time, energy and money again in applying for Fulbright.